you are watching an Al Bf review. Cuter music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Why did y'all not and let me know last week that Tyler Perry's The Oval came on? I am so excited for this show, man, because, A, it don't look cheap, and it just give me them vibes. Like, and I don't know all the characters' names yet, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that before we get into it. But it's going to be a great show. I like Tyler Perry. I give all of his shows a chance. That Sisters, that ain't for you, boy. But this here um, is it, for me. I love political shows, but I also love, um, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, shows like this. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because of the fact that Scandal is my very favorite TV show of all time. I know it's weird, but it is what it is. But anywho, this show won't be good. It started off with the the the, the incoming president and the, and, the, and the upcoming first lady. Going that, it, and, and it, it's the first interracial couple in the White House, so I don't know their name, but you know what I'm saying, that's that. So anywho, they going at it back and forth, right? So now, here's the interesting thing. They going at it back and forth, slapping each other, he punching her and all of this and all of that. Um, I believe their name is Hunter and Victoria Franklin. That's their name, right? So um, they, they going at it back and forth, hitting each other, fighting this thing, you know, his, uh, uh, what they call Cyrus, uh, chief of staff. I don't really, uh, he comes in, I guess he, 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 he hears them fighting and basically they tell them we need to make up and we need, we need this and we need that because this is the not the inauguration. Now this show started off with the mess, with the, with, with the, with, with, with the Lord. I love it. And it come on night, so y'all, y'all don't get it done anymore. So I'm going to just hit it real quick. So anyway, so we know now the incoming president and the incoming first lady, they're the first interracial couple on uh, the end of the White House, but they also the first couple to, to probably throw hands the way they were throwing hands now. You know, it is what it is. So anyways, also this episode, we get introduced to the butler. Um, I cannot tell you exactly who the butler is, but we get introduced to his family. He has a wife. He has a son that also has a girlfriend and has a daughter. Um, the son has custody of the daughter, him and the girlfriend, they upstairs trying to get it in. And the mama basically go upstairs and tell them, hey, your daughter want to see you. So then they had to stop doing it, right? They need their own place because when you're living with your mama, you got to do all that. Like, it is what it is. But so apparently the son of the butler had, and I, just, I remember their names the further we go, right? It's okay. So the son basically has custody of the daughter because the mom joined the cult. Exactly. Like Tyler Lee or R. Kelly ass alone. He in jail. Like, why would you do this? But I love it. But anywho, she joined the cult. She on drugs. So he has custody. And so uh, the dad, the butlers, their job is to move out the old president and move in a new president without a, you know, just move it swiftly and discreetly. Right? So the dad getting old, having bad problems, he called the son. The son shows up to the White House to help. Now moving on, um, the two children. The children' names are, uh, I believe, Gail and Jason. Okay, Gail and Jason, or maybe the, or maybe the children named Victoria and Jason. I don't know, but y'all get it. They got two children, and they look like they 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 mixed children. Good job, Tyler. Like y'all got me a show chat. A chance. But anywho, um, the daughter, she don't want to go to the inauguration because she can't invite her boyfriend who is a drug dealer. And I'm just like, for the life of me, why in the hell would you want to invite your boyfriend as a drug dealer to your daddy, you know, uh, swearing in to take the office? But this show just has potential. And it gives me them vibes that the haves and the have-nots is going to be good in January. I just got them vibes, y'all. So anyway, she's being disobedient. She leaves. So then they find her and she come back. She hires a kite. So obviously that she's going to be the Amanda who always having drug issues and boyfriend issues. So uh, the son of the butler is, is finished having to move in. She basically wants him to take her up to her room. Right. Um, and so he does and he doesn't want to. And then, you know, she basically try to get him to sleep with her and then he wouldn't and he pushed off and her head hit the side of the bed and she passed out and then her I guess 
security, her maid or whatever that, that lady is, she um she comes in to help him out, and as soon as she wakes up, the girl, the young lady wakes up, she says that she was raped. Now this is some spoiled privilege S H I T, and it's crazy. But like I said, this show is gonna be good, Tyler. You 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 locked that in yourself this time, buddy. So. Moving back to the butler's son's uh, daughter. Um, when, while he was leaving to go to the White House um, to help his father, the mother of the child showed up saying that she wants to see the child. He says, no, I have full custody. You're not saying. Now, of course, his mom is so, uh, whatever. She's so nice and understanding. The, the girl says she wants to see her mama and the mama want to see her. So she go, she called her mama and tell her to come at nine o'clock she stayed for an hour then she got to go and basically the show goes off with her and her cult friends coming to kidnap the daughter because the king or uh, said that her daughter is the chosen one now like i said this is just too much for me maybe tyler fishing a little too deep in the r kelly pool but it's gonna be a good one so anyway the chief of staff uh the president's right hand man she designs dresses uh so she pretty much made the dress that the first lady will be ran wearing at the inauguration and so he calls her to fly in for the inauguration now yeah, obviously it seems like they, their relationship is very abusive as well uh she get on the airplane uh they get caught up in the air and weather so they can't land and she calls and telling that she's sorry she tried and uh he basically just like you pathetic right so she meet this young guy on this other guy on the plane his intentions was clear from the, the moment that they laid eyes on each other. He tried to order the lady a drink. Um, she said, no, I'm good. So they had to la land a plane in Charlotte and, um, you know, whatever. And basically, somehow, some way, they end up in the bathroom doing the nasty. And I know how they do it because her, the, the man that she called her man, her husband, ain't no good. You feel he talked to her like she a piece of crap, but I ain't mad. But listen. I know this kind of crazy. I'm remember these people's names. But the show was just, I get caught up in these storylines, man. I truly do. And this has the potential. Tyler, don't you F this up. This has the potential to bring BET back to the promised land. Don't you F this up, Tyler. But anywho, I believe that was it for the first pilot episode. It comes on again tonight. I promise I'm going to do a better job of remembering the, the character names. But um, that's it. Y'all check the show out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Peace.